Now our next step is to configure CLI version of OCI. So just go to browser and Google for OCI CLI Windows. So you will get the doc.cloud.oracle link. Just click on it, install the CLI. Right? You scroll down, you will get the Windows section. Yep, here is the Windows section, right? Guys, the font are okay, right? Do you need me to increase the size of font? Let me check how I can increase the size of it. Okay. So here is the section for the Windows installation, right? Just click on, just open PowerShell as an administrator. Remember, guys, it should be run as an administrator. Right click on it and run as administrator. You will be prompt. Yes. Okay. Let's change the font size. Okay, here it is. Once the uh, once the PowerShell Windows is open, copy the command from copy the command to enable remote sign key remote sign command execution remote execution policy. Copy it. Just paste it. Enter. Type it yes. Yes, it's done and copy second command and during execution of second command i have noticed error i have mentioned it in on the hands-on lab guide also that i encountered the error that the python is not installed at all so i tried to install the python by the command itself but it failed again if you notice that the python is required to the raw to run the cli and it prompt me to install it and i pressed y and install and i get a error message so i install the python python separately and once the installation of python is complete then i re-execute this is the step to install python and once the python is set up successfully then I re execute the command and it went through. So if you get any Python related error, just install Python on the second window and try it again. So I'm sure it will work. Okay. It prompt me in what directory you want, would like to place the installation. I placed, I just typed enter, so it uh, took the default value and it, it detects that the, this file already exists. Do you want to remove this directory? I will press yes because it is already installable. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it is. I need to remove the directory. Then leave right. Leave it here. Okay. Okay. It's done. Let's try it again. Uh, in which directory you want to install, select default, OCI executable, OCI scripts, blank. Yeah, it is executing Python. is downloading and installing additional Python packages.
Meanwhile, we can test it on our Linux machine also. So in this case, we need to go to the section where there is command for Linux. This is the command that I need to execute for the Linux, Mac OS, or Unix. Just copy it, run it in the Linux machine. So at the end, it will it return Virgo successfully install OCI CLI. So once the installation is complete, we can execute OCI setup config command to set up the OCI OCI setup config. This is the configuration for the OCI. So it asks me where the configuration file can be located. Just I, I'm happy with the default location. So just I press enter. Now I need to provide the OCI ID. So for OCI ID, you need to log into the OCI console. Just click on profile. Okay, my time is out of sync because it's 5 a.m. It's a VMware, right? So I last time I paused it, so time get out of track. Yeah, it's 4:20 a.m. Now again, I have to re-log in it. Click on the profile, sorry. Click on profile, then click on the username. Now you will get the username and there is an OCI ID for my username. Just copy it and paste it on the terminal. My tendency OCI ID, the tendency, click on tendency. And one thing you can save, you need, you can save it for Later use. So this is my OCI ID. This is my tendency name. Tendency OCI ID. Okay, this is tendency OCI ID, and it needs to be typed in the PowerShell also. And it will ask for my region. My region is US as one. And it asks me for the API signing keys and i am happy with it so just type yes and then enter the directory for the keys i'm happy with the default direction and i i'm also happy with the default name oci underscore api underscore keys so passphrase i'm using nothing for the passphrase and i'm done 